Hey guys, welcome, welcome to the channel once again. Just gonna do a quick little read on tomorrow's solar eclipse. We just entered Scorpio season uh, as well. And uh, so the solar eclipse is going to be taking place on the Tuesday. And then we still have Mars uh, in a retrograde in a Gemini. So I'm like, whoa, some that's a heavy, heavy energy right there. So we're going to do a quick little read. So grab your teacups or your wine glasses. Mm -mm -mm. And we're about to get started in a little bit. Mm. Oh, yes. I don't know about everybody else, but I have been a little fatigued, kind of a little tired. Insomnia, but just tired. Well, this flew out. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and keep that. The three of wands here. I'm getting this energy of people wanting to stay in. Some people wanting to stay in. Some of you guys that are watching this understand the energies and how it can affect other people who ain't you know ain't as awakened or ain't as quite on the same vibration as you so you guys kind of just been like like in and out like a phantom type and you guys have been staying really productive behind closed doors clarify the uh, trio wants spirit tell us what the solar eclipse energy will be like tomorrow and a little thereafter Okay, doing some inner inner self work and getting over some heartbreak and deception, disappointments upon you finding out. You guys have been, been very, very productive when it comes to that. So it's a lot of like staying at home, like uh, doing a lot of inner work, a lot of shadow work, digging deep, researching, studying, investigating. That's pretty much uh, the scorpion uh, energy. Okay. So this is, all, this is really like about self-improvement. So a lot of the things that you guys are researching and looking up are things that have to do with self-improvement and healing and things of that nature. And then we have the Tree of Swords uh, in reverse, okay? You guys have just got over a heartbreak, got over a, like a, a, a love triangle, a toxic love triangle, okay? Got over lies and deception. Yeah, some of you guys have recently got over some heartbreak and has something to do with um, third-party interference. Somebody running interference or people meddling in, in, into your connection. Okay. Go on, spirit. Go on. Do tell. <laughs> All right, kind of keep it to yourself, not really giving people any pearls of wisdom, no jewels, no gems. Y'all not dropping shit. You guys are keeping everything to yourself. Solely focus on self-improvement. Self, all right, self. Go for self, flow for self. All right, six of, six of um, uh, what you call it? You, you're not sponsoring nobody energetically, <laughs> okay? You're not sponsoring nobody energetically. You're not giving nobody no charity. You're not giving nobody no energy. Um, that's what I'm getting with the six of coins in reverse. Okay. This is six could be about people that are most closest to you, family, lovers, and friends. Wow. All these fucking cards flew out. Damn. Okay. We just gonna keep them. <laughs> all right. So 10 of coins could be some domestic, uh, unrest, a domestic turbulence, uh, at home, uh, like, a um, some type of arguing or something. All right. Could be dealing with some, uh, uh wet dreams, cancer, Pisces, a uh, Scorpio. All right. This is, uh, followed by the Scorpio card is in reverse. This is some recurring type of arguments that have been taking place. That's my fan right there. It come on when it want to come on. But it could be a person that's refusing to change, refusing to evolve, uh, somebody trying to save a dying relationship, okay? There's a lot of, like, domestic turbulence going on um, or can go on uh, tomorrow, okay? This is about people who, who are... who who refuse to evolve, who refuse to change uh, their ways, okay? 
Some of you guys may feel stuck in your uh, situation, okay? Stuck at, stuck with somebody at home or you live with somebody that you can't stand, okay? And there could be some arguments. Things might bubble up to the top, okay? The, the bottom bubbles up to the top uh, tomorrow, okay? When it comes to family, so make sure that you're not around people who are volatile. Make sure that you spend as much time by yourself and keep your words minimal. Remember the six of coins. Don't give nobody nothing to go on. Don't give nobody no information. Let other people run their fucking mouth, okay? You sit back with your teacup, such as I and I, and you sit back and you watch people run their motherfucking mouth. You don't say nothing. You don't give no input or nothing. You don't throw your energy into shit. You just let other people wild out, okay? with the six of coins like don't give people no energy okay this also talks about civil unrest chaos okay so chaos arguments people will be probably acting very like you know uh very um aggressive very bullheaded very headstrong uh that type of energy here and it's going to be like a clash a clash of of that type of energy to, together okay we got the hang woman and you guys are just going to be hanging in the balance, just sitting in the back with your teacup, just like, damn, that's crazy. All right. <laughs> you guys have been, you guys are solely just working on yourself. You guys don't feel the need to include. Okay. Notice that we have three and a three here. You guys are focused on self. Okay. Six, six. We have the six right here. This is, this adds up to six. Then we have six right here. This adds up to nine. Okay. So you guys are more so, uh, you guys have been working on like getting over deception and deceptive people. So of course you're, you're not going to be as open to wanting to have them come back in the fold, not around this time because everybody is looking to spill some type of venom or kind of like, you know, their misplaced anger. Okay. So yeah, um, again, with the Ten of Cups, it's two ships passing in the night in your household if you live with people, okay, people that are refusing to change uh, and evolve. Uh, could uh, There's definitely some heavy water with these two cards. So like I said, it could be a wet dream or a Scorpio that y'all dealing with. All right. Could be a Sagittarius as well. We got the full card here in a reverse. So it's like feeling stuck, feeling free, feeling um, not feeling en um, enough freedom. Because when the fool is in reverse, they feel very stuck, very restricted, like they can't escape it, like they have to deal with it. OK. All right. Some of y'all could be dealing with some social media type of fuckery. Some of y'all might even confront your social media cyber stalkers or spies because it's like you guys have been in the cut and y'all been like low-key learning who these people are and they've been they've been researching you and you've been finding out and researching shit about them so i feel like some of y'all will confront your cyber stalkers or, or cyber bullies or, or or whatever okay you guys are going to be getting opportunities we got the sun card here you guys are going to be um doing a lot of creative projects that are going to lead to opportunity unexpected coins okay so un unexpected money that's going to be coming in uh tomorrow um you guys are going to be very um creative with the solar plexus the sun card you guys are going to just try to keep up your spirits and keep yourself happy and keep your vibrations up full which is very important um around this time there's a lot of different things that are going on uh, energetically with people so you guys are not letting it affect you but i do see that you guys are going to like confront uh people that have been a page of swords in reverse to you so people who are very who have been like uh like i said cyber stalking uh getting other people to cyber stalk you you know that type of thing uh very ignorant towards you uh very competitive not quite on your level like you guys are gonna have no problem addressing people that are into this energy here Y'all not, not going to have no problem. Y'all going to be very expressive with it, with the sun card. Very fucking expressive with it, okay? You guys going to let a lot of shit be known, okay? To them and to everybody. You're going to make an example out of this person. That's what I'm feeling, okay? You guys are going to make an example out of this person, all right? Uh, with the sun card, you guys are going to keep your, your vibes um, up full, but still address bullshit when you need it, okay? And then this will bring in some opportunities, okay? Unexpected money opportunities and things like that, okay? So that's good that we see that. So it's mainly just like self-help, addressing bullshit, keeping your vibes up full, okay? Avoiding any type of uh, possibilities for arguments, okay? With people that you know that refuse to change, that refuse to take um, accountability for their actions, okay? That are stuck in life. They got the full card in reverse. Okay. 
So you definitely don't want your freedom to be restricted. Okay, boom. Ha! Solar flares ignite our time. Yeah. All right, so yeah, this is the solar flares. So that's pretty much obvious with the solar eclipse. This is pretty much going to be... Um, the theme of, of tomorrow, solar flares. We've been seeing this card uh, quite a lot. And we got eight, eight is a Saturnian uh, number, or I believe Neptune. I think it's the eighth planet away is Neptune, yes. Okay, that has a lot to do with spirituality. It has a lot to do with discipline, uh, things like that. So I think, yeah, spirit definitely wants you to, it's, this is definitely like a challenge to keep your uh, to keep your vibes up full. And whatever energy that you do have, whatever, like aggression or anger or sadness, anything that you do have, uh, spirit is telling you to, to, Push it into something creative. Do something creative uh, with that energy instead of doing what everybody else is doing, lashing out everybody else, um, you know, railing up on each other or whatever. You uh, take it straight to your your studies or your works, whatever that you that you do to pass the time. OK, so use that energy, um, that solar flare energy uh, strictly for <clears throat> strictly for your like your creative projects and things like that. OK. going to be a lot of people speaking out about stuff a lot of people confronting people about things okay masks are going to drop same same energy as as yesterday's reading okay south notes okay we got the south node upright so this is a, like i said a lot of past things will be dredging up 33 the master number okay you're reaching a level of self mastery once you master this solar eclipse energy and this lunar eclipse energy is going to be coming on uh, after this okay this is going to it's going to force you to to do some south node things it's going to force you to kind of deal with the past like you're going to have to you have to deal with it okay we also see these cards yesterday okay you're going to have to deal with your south node triggers, okay? And I feel like you guys are going to address that, okay? Yeah, solar flares with the south node. Yeah, definitely going to be somebody from your past, somebody that is most definitely a page of swords in reverse. Somebody that's very competitive but not quite on your level. Somebody that's very ignorant, immature, it's like a very familiar energy that you have uh, with this person or said people. You guys are going to address these people. Okay, solar flares and south node. Yeah, yeah, big time. You guys are going to address these people. Y'all going to let them know what the fuck it is, you know. People are going to let their feelings be known. It's, it's no more babysitting people feelings at this point. I feel like you guys have grown past that. And this is very important for you guys to do on your journey is to, is to confront things and, and then let it go. Descendant. Okay. Being very discriminatory of who you let into your world. Okay. Who you let into your um, orbit. Okay. This is a time where we're going to start to address why we are the way we are when it comes to relationships. This is where we start to um, address, uh, address all of our coping mechanisms, all of our defense mechanisms. Like, why am I this way? Why do I push people away? Why do I, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of that type of uh, work during the uh, solar eclipse to go into the lunar eclipse. Okay. So yeah. And then this adds up to a new beginning here. So yeah, this is like setting new boundaries for your relationships. Okay. Understanding where they had come from, why, what made you want to, what made you look at relationships the way that you do and what made you want to start setting boundaries. Okay. So this is about like really, um, having some type of like energetic audition who gets to be, uh, in my world and who can be in my world. Okay. So this, this solar eclipse is going to be the ultimate test. Okay. The blast for the past that'll knock you on your ass basically. Okay. And by the time it's all set and done, once the smoke settles, you will already know the type of energy that you want to be around you or the only type of energy that you guys are going to be entertaining is going to be something that is uh, of the soul energy of the sun. Okay. Y'all not going to be, uh, dealing with people that aren't, um, that refuse to change. Okay. You deal with only with people that are, that are willing to, to, um, willing to evolve. Anybody that's not trying to evolve, you will compartmentalize them. You will put them in a box. Okay. Eighth house. A lot of things coming up from the top. 
secrets being revealed, people exposing people. You guys are going to be seeing and hearing a lot of exposés, solar, solar flares, igniting the tongues, exposés.